Welcome. You've reached the Oracle of the Feather Crown Tree. This is your Luna Illumined reading for when our sun is in Cancer and our moon is in Sagittarius. This is a fairly brief six card spread. I'll explain as I go through the cards. Um, I do read them, so we do kind of a literal take on the cards. And then I'm going to start doing a little intuitive finish for the reading, which may or may not relate to what we've read from the cards, and I just kind of want to play around with that concept for a while. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, sometimes I talk about how often I pull this Isis card, and here I go again. I've managed to pull her once more, and now, today, I have her partnered with the Giza card, so... For me, this reading's coming through really strong just in how it feels so far in the colors and whatnot. So let's take a little look at, kind of from my librarian perspective here, um, what these cards have to say. So our Isis card is from the Moon Oracle. The serene figure of Isis, the greatest of all Egyptian deities, sister wife of Osiris and mother of Horus, is seated on her throne. She wears the winged headdress of the vulture, on top of which she carries the symbol of the solar disk between the horns of the sacred cow, Hathor. In her left hand, she holds the ankh, symbol of eternal life. In her right hand, there is a lotus plant in full flower. Her breast is bare, the image of motherhood. The checkered pattern on her throne represents her supreme power over night and day, dark and light, life and death. On the wall behind is a form of the hieroglyph Ost, meaning the seat of the goddess Isis. Beneath the image are the symbol for the fire sign Leo and the moon disk of the red goddess. The goddess Isis could handle both the traditional male and female roles equally well. She was proud and protective of all that she held dear would go to the ends of the earth for their well-being. She is an example of faithfulness and power, modesty and sensitivity. This goddess card is chosen, quiet, unobtrusive honesty and determination will be necessary in order to bring about the desired result. Isis is the red goddess and represents the dignity and authority of a ruler. She urges you to take responsibility and lead the way to the solution of the matter in question. The nature of fire in Leo takes command and dispenses justice with fairness. If the Isis goddess card is selected, then August will be a significant month with regard to any question. So this is really put in our inner world position, our inner emotions, and we are going to take the card just below it from the Mudras deck, which is meant to help the message of the first card. And from this next deck, we have self-confidence, I am sure. The performance mudra. This mudra helps in exam situations and performances on stage. The index fingers point upwards and the thumbs towards the heart. Give of your best and give yourself over to the goodwill and higher understanding in the hearts of the people around you. You wish to achieve something which is of benefit to all, including yourself. To this end, you place whatever it is 
that is at stake under the auspices of the higher powers. Take the following terms into your heart. Plant them like seeds in the earth, and they will germinate, come into flower, and then give a rich harvest. Self-assurance, self-confidence, self-awareness. Okay, and then we're going to move over to our part of the reading that relates to how we really are physically and in the earthly realm, relating to the earthly realm. And we do have Giza, which speaks of unification. When you gaze at the Sphinx, what are you really seeing? Over the millennia, the head has been eroded and does not appear now as it once did. History says the pyramids were built by thousands of enslaved humans. But is that really so? Even now, the technology involved in the construction of the pyramids cannot be replicated. Are we being deceived? Who really built them and why? Maybe you're fed up with the deception in your own life. Do you wish for a relationship built on trust and truth rather than on vague promises and fabrications? It's time for you to stop taking everything at face value and become aware of what's happening around you. You don't need to accept blindly all that you're told. Look to uncover underlying reasons for motives, words, and gestures. For this is where the truth resides. This is the platform to build the strong and honest relationships you seek. Helping this message, we are going to have a card from the Essential Oils deck, and we have monthly. Speaking of receptivity, its trigger statement is, I am guarded, and its truth statement is, my heart is open. This is a time for you to receive new information. Open your heart to receive it. And we're going to look over here at the card from our angelic deck. And we have Sandal Foam today speaking on the theme of love. Always need more love. Can't get enough of that. So let's see what the specific message is here. This is the Sacred Guardian Archangel. Beloved, you are a child of God and a peace lover at heart. This angelic oracle comes to you as a signal that new love or a renewed love is dawning for you. See life through the compassionate eyes of your guardian, angel, who emanates from the Christos and perceive that love as being uncompromisingly beautiful. Look to the beauty that you will create for all in radiance of your love which is the prism of the divine. Shifting your perspective to the angelic realm means you become a human angel and start to spark miracles all around you. Chant Om Nama Shivaya to enliven your peace. And our last card is going to be from from the Rainbow Oracle, and we have Meditation. Now is the time to begin to think about meditation and the positive influence that this could have on your life. There is a need for stillness and peace in your life. 
Meditation offers a chance for you to connect to yourself and the divine on a higher level. Through meditation, you will be able to receive new channeled wisdom and gain new clarity. Focus on these purple colors as you go into meditation. Allow them to still your mind and allow you to float away into a deep state of meditation. Meditation brings me stillness and divine guidance. Okay, so what I'm getting from this reading on a more intuitive level is that we are dealing in the position of the divine feminine who sits in her power, strong, stable. She is backed by just this cosmic, golden, loving energy from the realm of the Christos. She is protected by that. It comes through her crown chakra and it feeds her through all of her other systems. She is creative. She is multifunctional. She knows how to put things together that seem disparate. She can function with parts that are somewhat chaotic and have their own system going, but yet when she puts it all together, it just works. She holds on to her faith or her, her strength in a way comes from the natural world and it also comes from feeling the power of the eternal trusting that there's something beyond this lifetime that is of meaning or just the meaning for everyone that will exist beyond her 3D reality is a truth that she respects her place in the cosmos. She sees herself eye to eye in very strong partnerships with equal, uh, almost divine masculine energies. Again, she is backed by not only this Christ-like energy that comes to illuminate both her and the divine masculine, but this sort of instinctual um, energy from Gaia that's mystic and deep and beautiful, represented by the blue lotus. Together, the masculine and the feminine can reach the greatest peaks by seeing eye to eye. They can create something of the of a state of such knowledge, of such nurturing to a culture that will have lasting and eternal impact, especially if it is spiritual in nature. This is something that may be happening this month and requires self-confidence and the sort of portal of the root chakra of the inherent divine feminine energy that is so instinctual based on so much love through this there is a passion there are bloodlines that go deep and sometimes I'm getting like a little bit of darkness from that a little bit of things could go awry here things could feel unsafe but there's something so protective that if you step into the power of the female energy, that you that that's the position that you want to be in. And to help with that, to help keep that type of energy balanced, meditation is key. Having a practice to help you connect to a greater power that will help fuel your connections with other help help fuel your connections with your purpose in this lifetime to have eternal impact for others to come is key to your success this month. Thank you so much for joining me for this reading. 
Please join me for any others. I have uh, like four or five different playlists for different themed readings. One is a chakras balancing reading for each day. I pick a different one for a different chakra for each day. So feel free to check that out or anything else. Stay blessed. Thank you so much for being with me.